Hello. It's Bloodborne time. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, what do I want to do? Right. I forgot a few things. A couple things. On the... In the lecture building on the second floor, last time we were there. A treasure chest that I just didn't go open, and a note that I just didn't read. So, we'll go do those things real quick. Excuse me. Huh. Where is that? I don't remember where that note is, actually. Oh well. I know where the chest is, at least. Just can go in this door. Y'all doing alright out there. You don't seem to be. Whatever, it's fine. Just another rune. It's fine. Uh, do I have any... Yes. I don't remember where that note is. It's fine. It's just... It says, hunt the great ones, hunt the great ones. So anyway, uh, let's see. A bit out of source right now for some reason. Uh, last time we did Yahargul, the Unseen Village. Killed the One Reborn. Uh, spent a while fighting the Bloody Crow of Kanehurst. Finished Eileen's questline. Got this sick outfit. Did roughly the first half of the Nightmare of Mensis, which we're about to go back to right now. else did we do? I think that's it? Ah, we also did the Upper Cathedral Ward. Not everything there. We stopped after the Celestial Emissary, but most things there. And we stopped here, just before the boss fight of the first half of this place. Go ahead and send that back down just in case I die. I shouldn't, but we'll see. Y'all heard that, right? These things are annoying, and they don't drop any blood echoes when you kill them. That's fine. Say Cosm, do you hear our prayers? No, we shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. <laughs> Time to fight Mikolash. He's annoying because he likes to run away from you. The trick is you have to chase him in such a way that you corner him into a room. For the first half, it's just like this. Not too hard. Ow. 
just getting rid of those. Huh. He's not terribly effective for the most part. His attacks are easy to bait out and dodge. But we're not done with the fight yet. This is only the first half. Oh! Majestic! A hunter is a hunter even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. The nightmare swirls and churns unending. There's goodies down here, which is why I'm going down this way first, even though Mikolash himself isn't down this way. Ow. Also, now that we're in the second phase, he, uh, he pipes in periodically, and that's kind of annoying. That didn't work. As you once did for the vacuous moment. Brothers eyes. Brothers eyes. There we go. Thank you for the blood gem I may or may not use. We'll see. So I love how hard the music is freaking out when, like, Mikolash is just a guy. Some say Cosmo. Do you hear our prayers? He's just, like, a dude. And he has some magic, but, like... The choir is just belting it. stuff down this way, I believe, which is why I'm going here. I like to clear out all the loot in Mikolash's arena while the fight is happening, so I don't have to clean up afterwards. As you once did for the vacuous that. I'll be honest, I don't remember if those things uh, get back up after you kill them. I hope not, but I guess if they do, I'll deal with them. As you once did for the vacuous room. Grant us eyes. Grant us eyes. I'll take that. This way? As you once did for the vacuous moment. Grant us eyes. Grant us eyes. Yes, yes, I know. There you are. You little shit. Right. In this phase, he uses these mirrors to teleport himself around, and it's annoying. Take that. Ah, oh, of course. Well, some say cause He's not down there yet. Do you hear our prayers? We 
am I going? This way, I think. Yeah, there you are. That's fine. Now we go back up into that other room and drop down in there. Yeah, good luck trying to punch us to death, my dude. Ow. Ow. Okay. He's actually kind of wombo comboing us a little bit. It's fine, he's dead. He's not waking up. His body is in Yahargul in that chair. It's how we got to the second floor of the lecture building. He's just dead now. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. He's dead, the bridge has been raised, and we can progress further up Murgo's Loft. Which is ideal. I believe I have everything already. I just need to find my way to that bridge. Uh, hmm. Maybe easier said than done. This is how we got to the second half. So... I don't think it's down. Right, not this way. Sorry, this might take a minute. Here we go. I'm, uh, I'm playing offline right now because this particular bridge is a popular PvP spot still, and I don't want to get invaded and die. That has happened to me before, and it is annoying. I'd rather avoid that if possible. And it is, so, you know. Let's, uh, let's look at that. the Minsis Cage. The school of Minsis controls the unseen village. This hexagonal iron cage suggests their strange ways. The cage is a device that restrains the will of the self, allowing one to see the profane world for what it is. It also serves as an antenna that facilitates contact with the great ones of the dream. But to an observer, the iron cage appears to be precisely what delivered them to their harrowing nightmare. Ah, I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? Levels. Very well. Let me stand close. Uh, what was I doing? Totally ignoring my blood tinge and arcane stats, but besides that, I think I was trying to get vitality and strength, or skill to 35? Yeah. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Thank you. Preparing my business. 
swap around the moon rune for a better one. Make sure I got my set it does ready, and we're going straight back to the nightmare. We're not going to finish it tonight. But, uh, there are some valuable upgrade materials that I want to get, so we can finish upgrading our threaded cane to its maximum, maximum upgrade level. So we're going to do that first, and then we're going to go do other things. Hello. Not off to a great start, but it's fine. Thought that was a doorway. That was not a doorway. There's nothing even over here. It's fine. Not gonna mess with those dudes right now. Shortcut elevator we'll get later. Right. You see that open window? You want to go into there. But uh, I'm going to do it when the cage is going up instead of going down because when I try and enter, when I try and roll in there while the cage is going down, I seem to die a lot more often. So, I'm gonna try this instead and hope it works out. Parkour! They worked out. Perfect. This bridge, extremely dangerous. Because there are three winter lanterns here. At least. Nice able to lock it down pretty effectively with uh, repeated R charged R2 attacks. That's nice. Alright. There are two more on this dang bridge. And I want to keep myself at full health just in case I get frenzied. I don't want to get frenzied, but, you know, strong chance that it might happen. time. of the Winter Lantern Menace yet, but I did handle that pretty well, I think. There we go. Alright. Ah, uh, Arachnophobia warning, and also these spiders have human faces, so if that freaks you out, proceed with caution.
hate these things. I want them out of my life. Missing anything. Before we drop down that hole, we want to pull this lever in front of the brain of Mensis, which, uh, body horror content warning? It's really, really gross. So we did that. So now, once we're at the while we're at the uh, the entrance of this place, we won't get constantly frenzied by the tower, because it's not in the tower anymore. There's a winter lantern over here, is why I did that. Okay, that went pretty well. That thing caught me off guard on my test playthrough and almost killed me, but I just barely pulled through. The choir bell is an interesting hunter tools hunter tool. It uh, only works when you have uh, when you're playing co-op, and it heals your buddies. But not you, I don't think. Interestingly, if you happen to- if you try and use the choir bell on Eileen when she's wounded in front of the Grand Cathedral, it'll kill her because she's flagged to instantly die whenever she gets, like, attacked at all, in quotes, and I guess the choir bell counts as an attack, quotes. So, you know, don't do that. It's a bad idea. Okay, let me... Oh, don't fall off these narrow walkways, by the way. You'll die. Too big a fall. Is there anything else over here before I... move on? No. Good. Let's go back around. Anything over here? No, just making sure. Good. There's a lot of a lot of bodies here of what look like Mensa scholars, and they all have frenzy spikes coming out of them. Which, you know. Have some environmental storytelling for you. Let's see, we can go in there, but I don't want to do that yet because that's a one way trip. Instead, I want to go down this way. More stuff to be had this way. Put that in our gun as soon as we can. It's a guaranteed pretty good gem for guns. And that key we found earlier, and Mikolash the Fostering, lets us open this gate. And that brings us back to said arena? Interestingly. I don't think there's really, really, really anything else in there. Not quite sure why that door exists, but anyway. Let me... Just 
reconfigure my quick items for a little bit. Eh. Don't fall down that pit. You will die. Let me get a blood rock. This is no mere chunk. It is nearly a boulder. Few bloodstones of such size, such size have ever been discovered, even considering the combined experience of all the hunters. First, we'll pop back to the hunter's dream for a couple of quick levels. Some re resupply. Then we'll go back here to the first half of this place. For reasons that will become clear soon. Hi, doll. Well, Cordy. Very well. Farewell. Threaded cane plus ten? Hell yeah. And we'll go ahead and stick that in there. See if I have anything... Any better gems to... Put in my cane. Aha! There we go. Perfect. Uh, I looked it up and it turns out we've... We're finished with all of Garman's dialogue for the rest of the game, pretty much. So, he won't be back here anymore. Alright. Now, back to the nightmare. cage elevator, we want to take normal elevator. Stop missing, please. Could probably just run past these dudes, but I don't want to risk it. Hey, bud. Want to try that again? No? Thought so. Hello, you. Parry timing on that is weird. But, now that we've unshackled the brain of Mensis. There's a new cage elevator that wasn't here before. Once again, body horror content warning, it's real gross. God, the crow feather outfit is so sick. I love it. Deep down in this pitch black abyss is the brain of Mensis. It won't attack you, or really indeed even react to much of anything that you do, but if you stand in front of it and use the make contact gesture, you have to wait a full minute, I think it's a full minute, it's at least 30 seconds, until 
the character rotates their arms. gives us a moon rune. You'll note that the moon rune gives you more e blood echoes for killing enemies, which kind of seems like the brain is telling you to euthanize it. And indeed you can. We're going to be doing this for a while because uh, it has a boss amount of health. as fast as I can here, I promise. Doing that gets us the living string. That is a chalice ritual material that you have to use to get into the final chalice to reach the bottom to you know, open that up. Special material used in the Holy Chalice Ritual. The immense brain that Mensis retrieved from the nightmare was indeed lined with eyes on the inside, but they were of an evil sort, and the brain itself was terribly rotten. But even still, it was a legitimate great one, and left a relic. A living relic at that, which is a precious thing indeed. On that enigmatic note, we're going to get the hell out of here. We're going back to the hunter's dream. Gotta stock up on supplies and such before we make our next excursion into the unknown. Welcome. Very well. Farewell. Thank you. Mm, over here. Shouldn't need any sedative where we're going next. Hemwick, right. As I said, we're not doing the, uh, we're not finishing the second half of the Nightmare of Mensis tonight. We'll save that for a later time. Instead, we are going to go do Castle Kanehurst, since we're at about the right level to tackle that. And I wanted to wait to do that until we have we had a fully upgraded weapon, and now we do. Excuse me, ladies. You know, it occurs to me now that I completely forgot to replace my moon room with the upgraded one. So uh, I guess I'll do that as soon as we get to the castle. Ow. Run away! I don't want to fight you nerds.
For some reason you don't get in the cage carriage automatically, which is bad when you're getting chased by enemies. Anyway. Welcome to Forsaken Kanehurst Castle. So like... How did we get here? It's unclear. Anyway. This place is cool, it's basically... It's, it's a... There's a lot of similarities and vibes to uh... The Castlevania series, which... I'm a big fan of, so... You know it's gonna be a good time. But first, I really gotta go switch out those runes. It's... It's important! I want the extra blood echoes. It'll help with the leveling process. Are my other runes good? Higher blood vials. Uh, I'm not gonna need frenzy resist. Uh, let's do arcane. Sure. More blood echoes. Stamina recovery speed up. The salt looks. Salt looks above board. This is the only lantern at uh, Kanehurst, by the way, but we'll be able to open up a shortcut later. So look forward to that. What I'm not looking forward to are the leeches. And also these things. God, I hate them. I hate them so much. Look at this thing. It's so unpleasant to look at. I hate it. It's so bad. They're like horrible engorged spider ticks. Ugh. Which is a really annoying, but they seem to be a lot easier with the, uh, the whip. Yeah, these things are giving me problems with the saw cleaver on my other file. Not to say that they aren't giving me problems now, because they sure as hell are. it for that. Thanks for the blood gem, I guess. Hey, bud. You want to fight about it? Also, you can't, like, backstab these dudes. So that sucks. 
Freaking tongue wombo combos, that's not great. Ugh, just everything about them. Horrible. A plus enemy design. Hate it. <laughs> Luckily, they're confined to specific areas. So, like, this is the only spot we're gonna fight them in Kanehurst, and there's one spot in the DLC where you fight them, but that's it. Which is cool, because, you know, they're horrible. Also, they can show up in the Chalice Dungeons, but, you know, we're not worrying about that for this character. For Miss Belmont here. Those ones down there usually ignore you unless you go up in their business. So if you can lure them out one at a time, good. There's another one down there. Surprised that didn't count as a plunging attack. I guess the ang I guess the drop-off angle was weird. Oh well. I don't like going through so many blood vials, but I think we'll be fine. Think being the operative word there. Let me make sure if there's anything down here. Aha. Some numbing mist. If you throw that on an enemy, that will prevent them from healing themselves. That's usually only relevant to, like, certain hunter NPCs that can heal themselves, but it's pretty good for PvP purposes. And, like, the few bosses that can heal themselves. Like, I... The only one that comes to mind right now is Vicar Amelia. If you can somehow get your hands on some of that before you fight her, it can be useful for that during her phase two. Hey, bud. Don't get too close behind them, because they might, they might actually notice that you're there and, like, kick you with their hind legs. Like that! Like, almost happened to me. It's not great. Yeah, if you could get over here, please. Perfect. Okay. Now there's just the big one. God, I hate how they look so much. Okay. I'll take it. Ugh. More numbing mist. Fancy. A lot of these ghost enemies here that are around but only become inherent but only become tangible once you're close to them. They're pretty ineffectual on their own, but they tend to show up in large numbers. And if you let them, you know, stab you with their knives, it's not good for anybody. So don't do that. Oh, 
Also, some of them can do like a scream attack that paralyzes you. Which opens you up for a knife party. And nobody wants to be invited to a knife party. Unless you're into that, I guess, but I don't think Artemis Belmont is into that. Ah, the Writer Palash. That is a... a cool weapon that I will probably not be using because it also requires Blood Tinge to be able to equip it, and I haven't put a single point into Blood Tinge, excuse me, this entire playthrough. Not about to start. I know there's one behind me. I'll get to that. Two behind me. Excuse me. <laughs> I've never seen a ghost die from taking fall damage. That's funny. Gotta be vigilant for these ghost women. Never know where one might be until they show up all of a sudden. Don't take that. That's an ambush waiting to happen. One of those ghosts, not sure which, was the one that could scream at you. Anyone else? I think we're clear. Let's look at that dress. Finely tailored bo let me try that again. A finely tailored Bordeaux dress. Worn by the nobles of the old bloodline that traces back to the Forsaken Castle Canehurst. You'll notice this is the same type of dress that Ariana wears, which means, unbeknownst to her, she's actually descended from Canehurst royalty. Not that that'll do her much good when she's trapped in Odin Chapel during the Blood Moon, but you know, that's neat. There are a ton of statues in this place. I'm not sure I ever caught on as to why that was. Hello. Gargoyle flew in from somewhere. There's one up there pretending to be a statue, but it's not. I know better. I don't think it's dead, but it's close to it. There you are. What did we pick up up there? A bloodstone chunk, I think? Something like that. Nice try! Oh shit, it worked anyway! <laughs> ah, 
I thought I was being slick. I wasn't. Thank you. More gargoyles out here, so be vigilant. Takes care one. Fight smarter, not harder. Ooh. Got the executioner garb. Except for the helmet. The hat, I should say. I have a lot of stuff I need to put away. Attire worn by the band of executioners commanded by the martyr Logarius. Later became the basis for all church attire, with its heavy draping of holy shawl. As the great Logarius once said, Acts of goodness are not always wise, and acts of evil are not always foolish. But regardless, we shall always strive to be good. We can see what this looks like. Pretty cool. I'm gonna put back on the crow for their outfit, though. Not that we need the frenzy resistance, but... Look at this. It's so sick. Why would I not wear it? You know? Shortcut activated. Alright, we need to be careful in this room. Because not only are there a lot of ghost women, there's also an enemy. Right here. I'll mark us with darts. I could have gone worse. Let's poke around down here some more before we go upstairs. I know there's more stuff to be found in this area. Like that chest, for instance. Evelyn. The Evelyn's a pretty good gun, but you need like a lot more blood tinge than I currently possess to be able to use it. Let me check that exactly. Yeah, you need 18 blood tinge, and I have seven. I don't feel like sinking 11 levels into a single stat just so I can use one gun. But I've been upgrading it on my Chalice Dungeons file, so I'll try and show that off. I'll try and show it off on that file, uh, this coming Saturday. Should be fun. dude first. That. Ah, how did I miss those? Okay. Alright. 
Y'all are being annoying. Stop that. So rude. Gonna wait before I go out there. There's more stuff to be had here, I think. Just gonna go ahead and top myself up. Never hurts to have more HP to work with. Of those nerds around here. I don't see any. I think we're good. Take that. Just looking around. We'll be up there soon. I always kind of get turned around in th on this level for whatever reason, even though there's only one other path out, I'm pretty sure. And it's over here. It has noticeable lighting and everything. I don't hear that. What do you think about that, huh? Hello. Okay. Sure. Thanks, buddy. holding their own heads. Those are the screamers. Oh. God. That's why you don't want to get darted in combo with the screamers. made your point. God, there are a lot of you in here. Ooh, the Executioner's Gloves. That's a pretty decent hunter tool. I don't think I have the arcane to use it. The night set. It's not complete, we're missing the hat. So, once we find the hat, I will show it off. For the record, the night set is uh, tied with the crow feather set that we're currently wearing as my favorite in the game. It is very cool. Now we're gonna go this way. Hopefully not die. That's a death fall, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to do that. We're gonna go over here. Well, first we're gonna go over here, over here. Hey, buddy. Bye.
Shortcut unlocked. something over here. Would have been weird to me if they had made this whole alcove and then there wasn't. Anyway. Don't think I forgot about this chest. I very much did not. With its warm blood gemstone parentheses three. night set. And in fact, I will be putting it on. Hell yeah. Now we're styling. Attire of the Knights of Canehurst. A regal piece, graced by intricate gold work. The Canehurst Way is a mix of nostalgia and bombast. They take great pride even in the blood-stained corpses of beasts that they leave behind, confident that they will stand as examples of decadent art. And they're extremely fancy! This is the way to the boss, but... I want to cash in my Blood Echoes first. So I'll go do that. Then we'll fight the boss. Dialogue for Good us? Hunter. No, not yet. Very well. Let Perfect. Farewell. May you find. Okay. Before we go back, I need a restroom break. I'll be right back.
Okay. Now we'll go fight ourselves the boss. Uh, this dude is annoying. It might take me a few tries, we'll see. But... I know how to fight him better than I do my first time through this game. My first time through this game, this dude sucked, but... I think I have a pretty okay methodology for fighting him now. down. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me, ladies. Not interested. Just wanted to... <sighs> Just wanted to get that dart, ladies, so she didn't poke us while we were climbing up this ladder. Do I want fire paper for this? Well, the sedative is not going to help. Yes, yes, whatever. It's odd how little of this place you actually explore, because, like, this castle is huge! But we've traveled through, like, what, maybe a third of it? That's fine. What is here in Explorable is great. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you. I'll still probably buy a few more of those. Just because it's handy to have some. Doesn't seem to be. That's how I got here. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, it's boss time. In the blue corner, nothing more than a partially partially rotting corpse that's still willing to throw down, it's Martyr Logarius! He's uh he's annoying and he's got weird freaky skull magic. Not today. Huh? Shit, where'd he go? This attack is very dangerous because it causes projectiles to rain down from above. But you can destroy the sword to cancel it. Oh my god! I eviscerated him! God, that didn't feel fair. <laughs> I guess I'm overleveled. Fair enough. The 
before we leave, we'll want to pick this up. Let's take a look at that. One of the precious secrets of Kanehurst. The old king's crown is said to reveal illusions and expose a mirage that hides a secret. And so Logarius donned the crown of his own volition, determined to prevent a single soul from stumbling upon the vile secret. What visions did he see, sitting serenely upon his new throne? Oh, hi, fanboy master. Uh, thanks for tuning in. You... I don't know when you tuned in exactly, but I just eviscerated Logarius in one try. <laughs> like, it did not last long. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that fight lasted maybe a minute. <laughs> I, uh... I think I came here a little bit overleveled and overprepared, but that's fine. <laughs> If you try and fight him on par, Ladarius is really annoying. That is true. I'm trying to remember if there's anything in here besides the lady. Obviously, we're going to talk to the lady. Aha. Such impudence. Defiled are we, yet still queen. We shall not give audience to an ill-mannered beast. All right, all right. Chill. Visitor. Moon-scented hunter. I am Annalise, queen of Castle Kanehurst. <laughs> Ruler of the vile bloods and sworn enemy of the church. Yet our people are murdered and we are prisoner to this wretched mask. What is it thou art in search of? Now, you might argue that it would be a little out of character for a Beaumont to agree to work with a vampire, but I would argue that not all vampires are bad. The Belmonts have worked with Alucard before, after all, and he's literally Dracula's son, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, well. An odd hunter thou art indeed. We've tired of these piteous nights. Share in our plight and take oath against the church. If thou wouldst this path walk, I prithee partake of my rotted blood. Very well. Drink deep of our blood. Feel the spreading corruption burn. <laughs> now, thou art too a vile blood. We too, the very last on this earth. We await thy return for the honor of Kanehurst. So yeah, the Vile Bloods are the uh, the PvP Covenant, basically. I'm not gonna mess with that. But, uh, the Healing Church does suck, so we're all for that. So apparently there's this item you can find in, like, certain Root Chalice Dungeons called the Ring of Betrothal or something like that. And you can, like, you can bring it to Annalise here and propose to her, but she'll be like, Oh, that's so nice, but no, I really shouldn't. Like, I'm literally a vampire. That wouldn't be... That wouldn't work out, just trust me. But thank you though, that's so sweet. 
is the gist of how that goes, to my understanding. I'm gonna put the nice wig back on. I have not played Lords of Shadow 2, but I will trust you on that. I only played the first Lords of Shadow and did not like it. <laughs> did not like it very much at all. Did not feel a need to play the other two. And indeed, I kind of don't trust Mercury Steam at all. I, I simply do not trust them <laughs> to make video games that I will enjoy. Welcome with very well. Now uh, let's get strength to 30. Ah. Farewell. See, I'm a huge Castlevania fan, and I haven't even played all of them. Like, I haven't played Haunted Castle, and I haven't played the really bad MSX version of Castlevania 1. Uh, what do I want to do here? Just get my insight back under 15. Uh, let's see. Next... We're gonna go back here to the Upper Cathedral Ward. Yeah, Haunted... We at least got some good tunes out of Haunted Castle. It's where the first half of uh, the modern version of Heart of Fire comes from, so there's that. Of course it should be good. So last time we were here, we stopped looking around right after we defeated the Celestial Emissary, but there's a secret. Can you spot where it is? I'll give you a hint. It's this way. What a cool secret. God, this game kicks ass. And if you look down there, that's where we fought Vicar Amelia. And also the Bloody Crow of Canehurst. Long may he rot in hell. I also love Bloodborne. It is my favorite uh, post-Demon Souls FromSoft game. And it's one of my favorite games, period. It's real good. It's just... <laughs> the vibes are immaculate for basically the whole game. Kind of a miracle, actually. So this is the Altar of Despair. It's been underneath the church this whole time. And there's a horrible cosmic monstrosity under here. Isn't that delightful? Uh, body horror content warning? Its face is nasty. That's the best word for it. Its face is nasty. The fight doesn't start until we whack her one. Ow. Okay, not off to a great start. I just gotta get behind her. That caught some geometry. Cannot see what I'm doing. Okay. This is not the best start. <laughs> Could you get over here, please? I need more room to work with. God, that is just a lot to look at, and it's all bad. Uh, you know... You know, Madden D99, I don't know that it's Cthulhu's daughter, but it's at least Cthulhu's second cousin once removed. Also, hi, thanks for tuning in. Get away. Get away! He's got some reach. Ah. 
Okay, I call BS on that. Yeah, no kidding. Go for it. And she's dead. Nice. Ah, uh, fair enough. I appreciate lurkers as well. Thank you, thank you. So this looks like... This looks like Rom. It looks like Rom's overgrown corpse, which is weird since we fought her underneath the Moonside Lake. There's a specific... There's one specific action you can do with this thing. We'll, uh, we'll go take care of that now, I guess. I just gotta remember where Alfred is. She was, uh, she was giving me some trouble in the Chalice Dungeons when I pl was playing through that last week, so... I was expecting to maybe have a little bit of a harder time there. Welcome. I'll take it. Very well. Farewell. Prepare my business. Okay, uh... I need to buy something to get my insight back under 15. Sure, that'll do. Okay, I think Alfred is by the entrance to the Forbidden Woods, if I'm not mistaken. Is missing, and I know where she is. Let's go. Let's go say hi. Not having a good time. <laughs> oh, okay, this is actually kind of. Unfortunately, killing the child also kills Ariana, so. Way, shall we? Oh, do you have any more sedative for me? No. Fair enough. This is the wrong way. This way to the square. 
That's right. This is not the right way. I'm getting turned around. What am I doing? Thank you for that, though. Right, it's across the way. I guess it would have been faster to warp to the Great Cathedral. Oh well. There he is. Let's look at this first. An old sealed summons. Like the first of its kind, it is an invitation to Kanehurst, but for whom is not known, as it lacks an addressee. Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Is that... the sigil of Kanehurst? I've heard tell of Kanehurst nobles and their amusingly pompous invitations. Wonderful. I thank you profusely. I will depart immediately, but first, a token of my gratitude. Ah, I feel my master's hand at work. Praise the good blood. And let us cleanse these tarnished streets. Tarnished? Elden Ring confirmed? Uh, uh, so apparently this dude shares a voice actor with Solaire from Dark Souls, which is neat. It has been an honor, but I must say goodbye. Totally different personalities. Let us cleanse these tarnished streets, and may the good. I love Solaire. Alfred's kind of an asshole. It kind of is, isn't it? Also, the fact that they so consistently hire really good voice actors in each of their games is mind-boggling to me. going? God, I'm getting all kinds of turned around. Hi, amygdala. Bye, amygdala. Be back to see you later. back down real quick. Alright. Go back to Kanehurst. Should get more stamina at some point. I've been sitting at 20 for a while. Master, look! I've done it! I've done it! I smashed and pounded and grounded this rotten siren into fleshy pink pulp! There, you filthy monstrosity! What good's your immortality now? Try stirring up trouble in this sorry state! All mangled and twisted, with every inside on the outside for all the world to see. <laughs> I 
Hey, hey, bud, where'd you get the helmet? <laughs> oh. Oh. You, is it? Yes, hi. Look at this. Thanks to you, I've done it. Well, isn't it wonderful? Now Master can be canonized as a true martyr. <laughs> I've done it. I have. <laughs> I've done I totally missed this whole subplot my first time through the game. We'll just be taking that, being on our merry way. What remains of Annalise, Blood Queen of Canehurst? This pinkish lump of flesh remains warm, as if cursed. All hail the undying Queen of Blood. I... Yeah, you have fun with that, bud. I'm, I'm just gonna go now. Bye. for some reason. And we want to go back to the Altar of Despair. Time flows in reverse for the scrap of flesh. So now Queen Annalise is alive again. How are you supposed to figure out that that function is a thing? Uh. Good luck, I guess. Some of the things in this game are especially cryptic, which is saying something considering the developer we're talking about here. Like how on earth are you supposed to puzzle that shit on your own? Huh, I wonder where Alfred went. I don't actually know the answer to that. Arant, vile blood or no bend. Yes, yes. Closest of kin, bearer of our blood, I welcome thee. What is thy wish? No special dialogue for, like, bringing you back from the dead? We okay. await thy return for the honor of Canehurst. Just had to check. Alright, uh... Don't have anything else on the docket, so let's go ahead and go start the DLC. I am definitely not going to be able to finish it tonight. But hopefully I'll be able to at least beat the first boss. I do wish you could warp to other places from Hunter's Lamps, besides Back to the Dream. It's kind of annoying, but it's fine. Not like a huge deal or anything. I 
the DLC key, right? Yes. The eye of a blood-drunk hunter. Its pupil is collapsed and turned to mush, indicating the onset of the scourge of beasts. A hunter who goes drunk with blood is said to be taken by the nightmare, destined to wander forever, engaged in an endless hunt. It is a fate that no hunter can escape. It is so funny to me that you can access the DLC as soon as you defeat Vicar Amelia, because you absolutely shouldn't, <laughs> but you technically can if you have a death wish. <laughs> Just in case. Or like you're doing a weird challenge run or something. The Hunter's Nightmare may look familiar here but it is also different. It is a, a twisted amalgam of Central Yarnum and the Cathedral Ward. Everything's all gross and decayed, and in some places there's an awful lot of blood. This place is extremely dangerous, so you gotta be on your toes, uh, at all times. There's also a lot of good stuff here, though, as well, so it's not all bad. Just a lot of it is bad. Damn it! Not dodging time! How on earth did you miss that? Shit. Oh my god, that dude annihilated me. That doesn't bode well for the rest of this, this stream. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Haha! -ha. Get dunked on, nerd. Oh, you got my blood echoes. Okay. Damn it. Damn 
Good riddance. Ah, my dude's fighting some beasties down there. I'll uh, leave him to that, I think. I win. Right, leads back to the entrance. Don't worry about all that business later. Jesus, I didn't even see him there. Expert camouflage, apparently. Whoop, where are you going, bud? I'm this way. I mean, okay. Saves me the trouble. God! Old hunter jump scare. <laughs> Stop that. Hey, bud. Ow. That is a boom hammer, and it is extremely deadly. Easier with parries or back attacks, but uh, that didn't happen, obviously. I'm very good at video games. I don't know if you're aware. I actually turned down an offer to uh, to join an esports league. I said I I said it was beneath me, and I didn't have time for it. See how well that's worked out for me. Try this again and maybe not die this time. Okay, that's just excessive. Doing great so far. Doing, bud. Nothing good, apparently. 
get rid of you first. idea. He's not here. He drops down. Gotcha. Yes! I'll take it. Okay. That was a little scuffed, but it worked out just fine. I hate those guys. Thanks for the vermin? I'm not in the, the league right now. Weird. I guess that's also just a rare drop? I didn't know that. Oh, son of a bitch. There's another one. I'll take it. <laughs> I was not expecting that to actually parry, but I'll take it. out of bounds over there. Someone get Zooey the Witch on that. Just gonna top myself up. A lot of blood vials. Happy about that. Where's the thing? Should be able to jot. Here we go. Thank you. Okay. Back up. It's something died. Hey, Parl, thanks for tuning in. You're uh, just in time to watch the start of the DLC. I have already died a couple times. Which is a great sign. I think I've finished the old Hunter set. Yeah, we can rock this look for now. Oh yeah, it's really good. It's also, you know, really hard. Case in point, this asshole. Nice job, bud. Oh, Jesus Christ! Totally forgot he had that move.
That's bad. Die, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> that was a little scary. My not having put a single point into Blood Tinge this whole playthrough has come to bite me in the ass, but that's fine. Don't worry about him, he's just having a nice nap. We need that eye pendant, though. An eye pendant which unlocks the surgery altar. There are two cathedrals in the Hunter's Dream. One lies past the River of Blood, and another contains the private research hall of the Healing Church. Only chosen members of the Healing Church, or their lamentable patients, can enter the research hall using this eye. Grant eyes to the surgery altar skull. That actually probably would have been helpful there. That's fine. Blood vials, those are always helpful. Alright, now we have to get through an automated machine gun nest. Which is not trivial. One facing behind, just to be cheeky. Also, sometimes these things, like, glitch out and don't let you hit them for some reason. Not sure what the deal is there. Making video games is hard. It's fine. If you two could just... This shithead again. I'll take it! And he's dead! Woo! Boomhammer dudes are the worst. Not the literal worst, but they're pretty bad to deal with, in my opinion. You'll notice that the geography isn't lining up here at all. We somehow went from the Cathedral Ward directly into Central Yarnum. And that's because nightmares are messed up. We're going to get that item later, trust me. Not going to fall for that shit. Wasn't born yesterday. I was born the day before. Thank you very much. Okay. Time to fight this dude. This dude sucks. Okay, that actually wasn't bad at all. I'll take it. Thanks for the hunter badge. Nothing over here.
Listen, I don't want to embrace any voids. This isn't Final Fantasy V, okay? There's stuff down this way, but I'm also very close to a shortcut, so I'm gonna get that first. you doing? You three? Excuse me? Can y'all chill for a hot second, please? Thank you. <sighs> Hello? You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn then, eh? Well... We're more alike than you think. This is the hunter's nightmare. Where hunters end up when drunk with blood. You've seen them before. Aimless, wandering hunters slavering like beasts. This is what the poor fools have to look forward to. So, don't be brash. Turn back before it's too late. Unless you've something of an interest in nightmares. Maybe a little bit. What the hell died out there? <laughs> Y'all, I'm busy. Oh yes, I see. You sense a secret within the nightmare and cannot bear to leave it be. As if the spirit of Bergenworth lives on within you. Do Such not compare me to those assholes. will relish the nightmare. But beware. Secrets are secrets for a reason. And some do not wish to see them uncovered. Especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. Beware. Respect. Okay. I'm gonna change back into my knight's outfit. Just because it's my fave. Need to resupply. Gonna do that real quick. Hello. Welcome. Very well. Good hunter. Farewell, good hunt. Okay. She'll have new dialogue as we progress through through the DLC. But uh not if we finish the Nightmare of Mensis first, so that's why I'm holding off doing that until later. Might actually be useful. All right, back to the nightmare. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Thinking what I might want to do in a certain area. Anyway. Beware. Oh, his name's Simon, by the way. I don't think he ever mentions that.
past that way is the next area, but... Excuse you! I better equip some antidotes. As I was trying to say, there's some stuff down this way, and of course I want the stuff. Ugh. Nasty. Nasty, even. Yoo-hoo! No? Okay. It's unsanitary. This whole place is unsanitary. This is not... <laughs> the Hunter's Nightmare would not pass a health inspection. Hot take. Okay, this cage sucks. I'm gonna do my best. Reason the cage sucks, number one. Gatling Gun Hunter. Reason why this place sucks, number two. This asshole can heal himself. Reason number three, you can't friggin' see! I disagree with all of that. No, come on. I was about to say, I don't usually get him all the way out there like this. You do not get to be that fast! Good riddance! <sighs> I'll be honest, I wasn't... <laughs> I was fully prepared to die there. And have to do this several times, but... I will take a victory. See that? Reason why this cave sucks, number like five or six? There's a blood starved beast in here. Hello! If you're guessing that this enemy wasn't really designed for super tight spaces like this, you would guess correctly. that does that. Whew. Okay, the worst of the blood cave's dangers are behind us. That's nice. I think that's everything in here, actually. Ah. 
now there should be everything. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the Hunter's Dream again because I used fully half of my blood vials on this one stupid cave. I went in a circle. I am very smart. Ugh, good riddance. Hi, bye. God. Artemis here needs a shower. And like three separate trips to a laundry place. Laundromat? That's the word. Why is it called that? Hmm. A mystery for another time. Well, what? Very well. Oh. Very well. Like five K more. Blood Echoes. Let me fix that real quick. That'll do. Well, what? Very well. Farewell. May you. F Don't want to mess with any of this. Uh, East Cutter's the weapon I think it is, isn't it? Yeah! Sword Whip. Obviously we gotta. Actually, use this weapon before. Seems pretty fun, though. We'll give it a shot. And it does fit with this whole playthrough that I'm doing anyway, so you never know. Simon by Simon. It does seem a tad weaker than my cane, but that is because it's not fully upgraded and it and the blood gems that are in it aren't as good. So there is that to take into account. Fun, though. Okay, that's less fun. Lock onto this one, please. It's 
got some depth to it. In fact, I'm not sure I like how slow it is, if I'm being perfectly honest. Whomst? You. Go away. Don't get caught on the grave. Okay, I don't like how that freezes you in place. Not a fan. Quit it. Not my proudest moment. All for some pants, thanks. I definitely needed those. Hello. Take that. Being weirdly docile. Alright, I know there's a dude over here. Yeah, there he is. Nice shot, bud. That didn't quite work out how I wanted. Go away! God, this place is nasty. And also, the corpses seem to still be moving. That's lovely. We'll be back for that later. If I recall correctly, there's another dude up here who gave me a hard time during my pl test playthrough. Drop down, isn't there? Yeah, here we go. Yoink. I will not be wearing the constable's garb. I have no interest in cop cosplay. There you are. Let's not do this again. I knew that was going to happen and it still happened. Pro gamer hours. Simon by Simon. K. 
Okay, time to ignore all the enemies. I guess not you. See ya! Juked him. Created a problem for my future self. Alright. Get bent. Still not dead, cool. Ugh. Well, this is a problem. That pebble was vitally important. I needed it. Goodbye and good riddance. Alright, next tough part. We have two executioners to deal with, and they have cannons. Case in point. Or is it just the one? It seems to be just the one, actually. Oh, no, there's definitely two of them. You know what? I don't need to fight y'all. I'm just gonna go. This helpful fellow is a respawning enemy that always drops five blood vials, which is handy. I'm missing something. There's like a different exit to this area, isn't there? I know there is. Just here it is. It's over here. Handy lantern. Fat load of nothing. I thought there was a dude over here. How am I not dead? Question answered. I am, in fact, dead. Hey, these dudes. So annoying. Well, at least
least I start right here. That's nice. Mm-hmm. They sure are. Sure. <sighs> Why fight them when you can simply run? Hello? <laughs> Whirly Gig Saw is a fun weapon. Ow. Hate that. Alright. I don't have enough blood echoes for a level, so I'm just gonna go to the boss now. Okay. I'm not gonna need those. It's boss time. We might be here for a minute. Extreme body horror content warning. It's nasty. Sign this. A great terror looms. Oh, I think this is coming. Have mercy. Have mercy upon us. Alright, time to fight Ludwig. He's nasty. Case in point. I'm trying to get close enough to whack him. Dodged way too quickly. He moves extremely erratically. When he jumps up into the air like that, you just want to run. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what the best method is for dodging most of this shit. I just kind of do, I just kind of go for it and hope for the best. Still. That was in fact the opposite of what I said. Shit. That was lucky. I only just barely dodged that. Okay, phase two.
my guiding moonlight. Fighting Ludwig the Accursed. We're fighting Ludwig the Holy Blade. I don't think he actually gets any harder in this phase. But the orchestra is popping the hell off right now. Like, he's no longer fighting like a wild animal, he's fighting like a guy. Woo! That was real hairy for a while there. He's not quite dead. We can talk to him, but first I want to... Put on a church outfit. So we get different dialogue from him. Tell me, good hunter of the church, have you seen the light? Are my church hunters the honorable Spartans? I hoped they would be. Now obviously the truth here is no, but I don't really want to lie to a sick old man in their final moments. Ah, good. That is a relief. To know I did not suffer such denigration for nothing. Thank you kindly. Now I may sleep in peace. Even in this darkest of nights, I see the moonlight. We get the Holy Moonlight Sword, a FromSoft tradition. I don't have the stats to use it on this file because it re does require investment in Arcane, but it's pretty good. I'm gonna go resupply back at the Hunter's Dream. That was pretty brutal. <laughs> Went through all of my shit. I wasn't expecting to do it in one go, I'll be honest. Happy I did, though. Welcome. Very well. Farewell. Hmm. Not quite. But I think I can get there. There we go. Welcome. Very well. More health, please. Thank you. Farewell. I need to organize my inventory after this stream. Underground Corpse Pile. What a lovely name for a place. Hello? 
Okay, my stream went away for a hot second. I'm not sure why. I just, I unplugged my controller from charging. That was weird. I hope I'm still on the air. Drowded by night, but with steady strife. Colored by blood, but always clear of mind. Ground under the church. Beasts are curse and curse okay, good. the shackle. Only ye the true blades of the church. That's, uh, this man in here. We can't open the door right now. Dang horses. Buddy. Thanks for the sedative. The Fist of Gratia is a funny weapon. It's not what I would call good, but you can use it if you want, I guess. Hunter. Wow. That's very odd. You can just barely see him in there. Hear the toll of the bell. Liar. Such pettiness. We did hear a bell toll earlier. We're not lying. The beast you seek will not be found here. Go back to your hunt. And if you have the chance, put this knight behind you. Places better left untouched. Secrets better left alone. Only a fool would so brazenly roam. Right. We'll be back for him later. Okay. This part kind of sucks because you have to fight two hunters at once. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna bum rush the elevator. I think. Excuse me. That was close. But I'm hoping the hunters will have de-aggroed. Just gonna... Hide behind here. Hope for the best. We'll see what happens. I don't think either of them ran into the elevator pit after me, unfortunately. No. This is bad. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh my god, why wasn't the elevator working? I had to pull the switch, didn't I? That's fine, I don't need those blood echoes. Y'all can have them. I just needed the skull. If you ride the elevator back down to like the hidden lower level, you can get a a church cannon, but I, I'm i never gonna use it for this character. I don't need it. I can live without. It's fine. All right, welcome to the research hall. place is rather difficult. And we're definitely not going to be able to do all of it in 20 minutes, but I would at least like to open up a couple shortcuts while I'm here before the stream ends. why this place is hard is because of that. these research hall patients. They're very aggressive and erratic, and there are approximately three million of them in this building. There's like more than 10 of them in that room. It's ridiculous. Thank you. Patient room, floor two. Always take care of any stragglers so you don't have to fight these dudes in big ass groups. This room is not a good room. This room is not a good room. We can't do anything for these people, unfortunately. We just gotta put them out of their misery. Let us not speak of this again. Okay. Y'all, I'm not even in there. Out for projectiles from above. Thank you for the sedatives. Worrying implications aside. What is happening? Camera decided to freak out for a little bit. Ow. Settle down. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Do 
not underestimate these dudes for any reason. They will correct that mistake. Gah! Got extremely lucky there. Those ones with their IV stands are the most dangerous out of them. Ugh. Let's see, where am I going? Where am I going? Ah. Both lead to the same place, fair enough. Just gonna do that real quick. I'm smart. That's fine. This place is also rather confusing. Where am I going? This way. It's surprisingly easy to get lost in here. Be very careful standing next to these shelves full of weird bottles of stuff. Some of them like to just burst acid onto you. And it can kill you if you're not careful. And there's a hunter right there, and I don't want to deal with him right now. There's a wheelchair hunter over there. Patient room floor. Thank you for bullet. I don't need to drop back down, I don't think. I will simply not do that. Okay. Hmm. If I miss that gap, I will die. So, I'm gonna go up the stairs instead. Not today, buddy. That was the acid stuff I was talking about, and it got me. How the hell are you not dead? You suck, dude. Get out of here, that shit. That one didn't have a head. Neither did they. That's not great. Thought so. We're gonna get me that time. Patient room, floor five. <laughs> oh, hold on. He 
things can attack you. Oh, how on... I did not even see how that happened. I'll be perfectly honest. Huh. <sighs> Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Let's take a look at that enlarged head real quick. You can wear it as a hat if you want. An enlarged head of a patient of the cathedral, with a cavity that, cavity that just happens to fit a human head, although one would be mad to try it on. But if you do, listen carefully for the sticky sound. Drip, drop, as water seeping up from the depths, slowly, steadily. No thanks. I don't want any part of that shit. I do want is to find the shortcut elevator already. I know they exist. Aha! Sorry, old man. Just gonna... Oh. Goodbye. Trying to clear the way without that happening, I failed. Maha. Let me go back up. this ladder. <laughs> nah! Jesus Christ. Didn't even see you. Huh. Rude.
thought that cabinet for sure would have busted open. Expecting that, I'll be honest. Okay, let's get back to the hunter's dream so I can end the stream. Straight up those stairs. Gotcha. That will be easy to remember. Okay, whew. Got all that done today. Fully upgraded our main weapon. Beat Mikolash. Finished Kanehurst. Beat Abriatos. Did the first third or so of the DLC. Hell yeah. Welcome. What? Very well. I guess next week we'll continue Farewell, on with the DLC and Me. maybe finish it and beat the game, depending on how, depending on how, on how good at video games I am. <laughs> we'll see, I suppose. But uh, until then, I'll be doing more Chalice Dungeon stuff this, this Saturday, possibly, possibly finishing that up. We'll see. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.